If nurses do not have the ability to speak up about safety concerns without fear of reprisal, patient safety is compromised. Do you want your nurse silenced? No! Governor Walker, you will not silence the nurses. We're in Madison, Wisconsin, and we're here to have our voices heard on this budget bill that Governor Walker is trying to pass. We can't negotiate over a budget because we're broke and we need the money. And the unions and the Democrats have said they're willing to take the concessions on wage and health benefits. They're willing to take about an 8% pay cut. They already said that. They've already made those herring. concessions. That's a red it's about our collective bargaining rights, it's about our union rights. The fact that he's not willing to discuss anything along those lines tells us that this really is a union busting bill. If you want to participate in democracy, you got to come to where it's at, and that's in the arena, and the arena is in Madison, Wisconsin. Ha, ha, I hijacked the frequency. I block the beltway. I move on DC. I think this is my 11th day of being here. We're sleeping at the Capitol every couple of nights with our kid. My husband's texted me and asked if he should forward my mail to my new house. I'm like, nope, keep the bill, send a toothbrush. We're here to put an end to union busting. This is becoming a nationwide scourge, and we are ready to stomp it out, and we will not give up. If labor doesn't come out on top of this, then humans don't come out on top. Before he died, I asked him, where do you want your ashes to go? And he said, in all my favorite places. And guess what I brought yesterday to the march? I scattered my blood here among his brothers and sisters in solidarity. This isn't just about us. This isn't just about our generation. This is about whether or not the next generation will have at least the same shot in life as we had. It is my belief that the future of the rights of working people in this country will not be decided in Congress. It will not be decided in the courts. It will not be decided on talk radio. It will not be decided on Fox News. That the future of the rights of working people in this country will be decided on the streets of Madison, Wisconsin. In the squares of the city, in the shadow of the steeple, near the relief office, I see my people. Some are grumbling, and all are wondering if this land's still made for you and me. This land is still made for you and me.